Take a look at this addition problem. Another way to say this is four groups of five, or in effect, four times five. And that's all multiplication really is, addition in groups. Here's a multiplication problem written out and solved. When multiplying by a single digit, usually the easiest approach is to multiply left to right and add as you go. Remember that placeholder zeros may not be written, but they are implied. Here's a way to calculate this problem without having to remember more than one number at a time. Five times eight equals 40. Remember the number 40. Six times eight is 48. Add these digits together exactly as they're lined up, and you'll get 448. Remember the number 448. Say it out loud if it helps you remember. The next step, 8 times 8 equals 64. Now add the 448 to the 64 exactly as they're lined up, and you'll get 4,544. Of course, what you've actually just done is add 4,000 plus 480 plus 64. So using this technique of adding as you go, you don't need to have a bunch of numbers in your memory all at once. Answer this question in under five seconds. What's 42 times 15? So here we're gonna pick a strategic number and then multiply and divide by it. In this case, we can use the half and double method, so our strategic number would be 2. Half of 42 is 21. Double 15 and you get 30. So the new problem is 21 times 30. 21 times 3 is 63, so 21 times 30 is 630. The half and double method is ideal for multiplying an even number times a number ending in 5. We're simply reframing the question in order to get easier numbers to use. Take a look at this problem. You're being asked for 59 groups of 32. Instead, let's call it 60 groups of 32, and then subtract one group of 32. Your problem is now 32 times 60 minus 32. 32 times 6 is 1812, which is to say 192, times 10, tack on the zero. So 1920 minus 32. Here we can use the over subtraction and complement method. So 1920 minus 100 plus 68. 1920 minus 100 is 1820, add 68, and you have 1888. Of course, there's also an addition method. Try this for yourself. What's 42 times 31? You're being asked for 31 groups of 42. Instead, let's call it 30 groups of 42 and then add an additional 42. So 3 times 42 is 126. So 30 times would be 1260. And then we're going to add the 42, and we get 1302. What's 12 times 24? Well, 24 is 12 times 2. So you can look at this problem as 12 times 12 times 2. And that's 144 times 2, which is 288. 12 times 2 equals 24. 12 and 2 are called factors of 24. The method we just used is called refactoring. This method comes in handy now and then, and if you're aware of factors, you can make fast work of problems simply by using this method. Answer this question in under 5 seconds using refactoring. A good approach would be to refactor the 16. So 52 times 2 times 8. 52 times 2 is 104. 104 times 8 is 832. Take a look at this problem. 
If you do this problem normally from left to right, you have two times two and then two times six, which has a carried number to the left, and then two times two. But you can also look at this problem as 26 times two, which is equal to 52, and then two times two equals four. So no carrying involved if you spot the shortcut and calculate 26 times two. So the answer is 524. By regrouping, we can declare the correct answer almost immediately. Answer this question and avoid carrying by regrouping. 8 times 12 is 96, 8 times 1 is 8, so the answer is 968.